Is Holly Willoughby's reputation set to be marred by yet another scandal? The This Morning host has already been condemned by the public for turning her back on her so-called bestie Philip Schofield and accused of throwing him under the bus in an attempt to save her own skin. But could history be about to repeat itself? With the media currently tearing into brand and comedians coming under particularly close scrutiny right now, could Holly Willoughby's association with another former co-host of hers come back to bite her? In a recent article by the Daily Mail, Lee Francis has come under fire for his behavior. Holly Willoughby starred alongside him on Celebrity Juice, a game show which is well known for its very cheeky games and endless amounts of innuendos, and also a show in which Holly paraded around in a lewd manner, getting up to all sorts of dubious antics which could be said negatively shaped the attitude of a generation of young men towards women. On the show which was produced by Holly's husband Dan Baldwin, she was filmed eating bananas and positioning herself in front of Francis in a suggestive manner amongst many other demeaning sketches. Can she escape the tawdry connection if further information surfaces about Lee Francis? We don't think so. Radio and television star, Melanie Sykes has recently claimed that TV producers failed to act after she complained that Lee Francis made humiliating jokes about her to a live audience while they filmed ITVs through the keyhole. Miss Sykes said Francis, best known as his alter ego Keith Lemon, made explicit gags about her for three hours, including, I bet your A smells of flowers. She said the TV production company Talkback, where Dan Baldwin has the title of development executive, ignored her when she complained. Speaking on Fashion PR Lynn Franks' podcast, frankly speaking, Miss Sykes said, I went into the studio and I didn't think Keith was going to be like he was on the other show he does, Celebrity Juice, where it's all bleep and bleep and talking about people's A's. But she added, I sat there for a three-hour record and he did all that stuff to me verbally to entertain the live audience, because it was never going to make the edit of the show, so he used me to entertain the audience. Talkback responded and said looking after its TV guests was the top priority. Lee Francis did not respond to requests to comment. After a little research, Blinkerhole discovered that Melanie Sykes has been embroiled in a feud with Lee Francis for a while. An article from 2020, reported that Sykes, suggested that Lee Francis's alter ego Keith Lemon had a limited vocabulary. The article continues, although we'd expect Keith and Mel to get on like a house on fire, it transpires that Mel isn't fond of the comedy character made famous by Lee Francis. I feel a bit sorry for British men who have adopted the limited vocabulary of the television character Keith Lemon when talking about and to women, she said in an interview, prompting a surprisingly barbed response from the comic himself. Lee addressed Mel's comments during an Instagram Live, during which he shared that he had reached out to Mel on social media and asked why she didn't like him. She said, it's not you, it's your on-screen persona, she explained. Clearly stinging from Mel's character assassination of Keith Lemon, Lee hit back. Well if anyone's watching and you have a limited vocabulary, you can still win two BAFTAs and two NTAs. Comedian Catherine Ryan who has repeatedly made her feelings known about Brand, also cast aspersions at Lee Francis, labeling him as an obvious creep at the 2019 TV Choice Awards. Speaking about the captaincy changes on Celebrity Juice after Fern Cotton stepped down to focus on her podcast and solo career, Catherine said, we've seen a change of captains on Celebrity Juice. In an age of S harassment, at least Fern's happened in plain sight and she got properly paid for it. Nervous laughter filled the air as she continued, it's Keith Lemon, his proof for bleeps everywhere that an obvious creep is cute. It's way less threatening than a stealth one. Recently, following the allegations against Brand, the public seemed to agree with Melanie Sykes and Catherine Ryan. Taking to X, formerly Twitter, one person wrote, I always felt uncomfortable watching Holly Willoughby and Fern Cotton with Keith Lemon and the apparent humiliation involved. They may well have been in on the act and they have always proved their own agency. However, the program felt uncomfortable. Another person wrote, if they are going after Brand for lewd and outrageous behavior on set, which we all knew about and all part of his act, then is Keith Lemon next? And following a recent episode of This Morning, another wrote, Holly Willoughby doing commentary on Brand whilst sitting on a hundred plus hours of her appearances on Celebrity Juice, where Lee Francis committed bleep and bleep under the guise of comedy, cheered on by her, is a special type of self-awareness, me, no, in action. Another wrote Keith Lemon, think he will be next. The so-called jokes he got away with are bleep and bleep. Helped along the way by fame-hungry attention seekers like Holly Willoughby. 
clever Fern Cotton got out of there fast. Brand isn't alone. Time to show some respect. And another wrote, it's only a matter of time now that Keith Lemon Lee Francis will have some form of allegation against him and Holly will be speaking out against it saying how inappropriate he was and leading a charge to cancel him. Lee Francis hosted Celebrity Juice for 25 seasons, but interestingly the character of Keith Lemon seems to have been quickly ditched by him. Lee, who has been seen out and about with his rarely seen wife Jill Carter, a lot more often these days, left fans stunned as he made a rare appearance as himself on television in June. The comedian, from Leeds, went on the BBC's The One Show to officially announce his 2024 live UK tour. In contrast to his alter ego, Keith Lemon he seemed quieter and donned a less eye-catching outfit in double denim with a blue shirt and matching jeans. So, could Lee Francis have recognized the growing change in the public's attitude towards the derogatory type of comedy he once was associated with and swiftly distanced himself from his alter ego? But of course, nothing can really be erased in the world of the internet and we suspect that after Melanie Sykes's accusations, Holly Willoughby might be casting her mind back over all of the shame-inducing scenarios she was involved in on Celebrity Juice, afraid of the numerous show clips ready and waiting to be unearthed to damage her reputation further. We already know Holly Willoughby, who once ripped off a shower curtain using only the cheeks of her bottom in a tawdry episode of Celebrity Juice, is still close friends with Lee Francis after being pictured at his 50th birthday bash in April dressed as Barbie. Her husband Dan Baldwin was also in attendance looking, well, as camp as Christmas, for want of a better phrase, and good old ex-bestie Philip Schofield was there of course as himself. No, sorry, we mean Anchorman character Ron Burgundy, but was he chanting? I'm not quite sure how to put this, but, I'm kind of a big deal. Probably. So now that we know that Holly Willoughby and Lee Francis, who drew much criticism for his Bo Selector, also produced by Dan Baldwin, character portrayals, are still besties, we wonder how long it will take her to ditch him if the Keith Lemon story evolves into a brand-type scenario. Not very long in our opinion, after all, she's got form for casting out unwanted besties, hasn't she? Holly quit Celebrity Juice on May 4, 2020 and two years later, it was announced that the show had been cancelled by ITV. The series concluded with two specials which aired in December 2022. Lee Francis described himself as, gutted, after Holly announced that she was ending her stint on the show, saying Willoughby was like a, TV sister, to him. How remarkable. That's exactly how Philip Schofield viewed her. In 2019, the former This Morning presenter said of Holly, She's like the sister I never had. I adore my brother, but I never had a sister and Holly is like my younger sister and that's a lovely position to be in. To conclude, it sounds to us that Lee Francis has a similar type of friendship with Holly Willoughby as she had with Philip Schofield. If further information about Lee Francis comes to light, it really could be the final nail in the coffin for Holly Willoughby and her precious career. Already desperately clinging by her fingernails onto her this morning presenter position and trying to salvage what's left of her reputation after Q-Gate and the downfall of her best friend, Philip Schofield, one more damaging association with another disgraced friend could see big brands running for the hills and ditching her in favor of someone with a somewhat cleaner image. As soon as the brands desert her, it will definitely be the end, and throwing another bestie under the bus will not save her for a second time. Holly Willoughby's house of cards will ultimately come tumbling down. Please like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only. Keep up to date with our latest investigations and hit the join button. If you like what we do, send us a super thanks. Official Blinker Hole merchandise is available in store.